were coming down in the lift. Uh -huh. And a young lady of about nine or ten came in. And she uh, said, uh, oh, how are you? How is my sister? And this young lady says, you would be very proud if you had a sister like me. <laughs> yeah. But those little children were very political. Yes, of course. Whenever they saw a white person coming into that building who was not known, any white person that the children did not recognize, they assumed must be a policeman. So as soon as that white person entered, they're waiting for the lift, these children would run up the fire escape and warn, uncle, uncle, police. <laughs> so they were very political. But in 1960, after Oak Tambo was sent abroad, you started practicing from the flag. Yes. Every day after treason trial and during adjournments, you used to uh, have your law practice from there. No, you remember. One day there came a chap who was blind in one eye. Uh -huh. But you objected with that a very forceful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had to look for another office because uh, I don't know why you hated this chap so much. No, he was very rude. Very, very rude. He just dismissed me and very rude to me. <laughs> So I also, I must have reacted angrily also, if he was reacting, because there were so many of your clients that were coming there. Yes, quite. Uh, <laughs> who is now using Colvert House? The flat is still in my name. I see. But you remember Amin Kaji? Yes. Who took you to Botswana when we smuggled you out when, yes, you, quite. when you went to... I remember him very well. When I was under house arrest and I couldn't get visitors, Amin was working somewhere else. So I called him back, I said, please come here because I'm not allowed to have visitors. You must take responsibility for my visitors. So he took responsibility. And when I went underground, I left the flag to him. I see. So uh, we are still going into some sort of recognition. I'm told that uh, some representation has been made to Palo to declare it a heritage site. I see, that was good. Yeah. Well, those were interesting times. Yes. Uh, I hope that the records will be accurate because uh, it shows what other groups did for all of us. Yes. And your uh, close relationship with uh, Ismail Mir and Jay and Singh did help politically as well. Yes. Uh, those days, uh, to have uh, something with members of other race groups was very dangerous. Yes. Mm. That would do. Because you people being law students, a yes. lot of discussions, and at that time the Youth League was still not in favor of cooperation. And you may still remember a meeting, a informal discussion rather. Uh, Ismail, JN, yourself, Oliver, and Walter. And at that time, the Youth League's uh, attitude was non-cooperation with the other organizations. And then, uh, at that informal meeting, Walter broke ranks. And Walter said, no, there's a lot of merit in what these chaps are saying about cooperation. On your way to the station, that time there were no motor cars. Mm. You and Owar were so angry with, with Walter, so Walter was walking on one side of the pavement and you people I <laughs> on the other side. Well. <laughs> that came from the flat uh. after discussions. But yeah. eventually, because one thing we have always stressed, although the Youth League uh, had this attitude, it was not a racist thing. It was more exclusivist. And you had your own reasons, but not racist. Yes. Because your close friends were these chaps. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now this is myself. At that time I was occupying the flat. Ismail had already qualified as a lawyer and he had left, Jayan had left and uh, I was now occupying the flat. Yeah.